I've never been a big fan of leak code type problems. Some of my first content was an interview with Dan Abramov, where I specifically didn't do a leak code interview because I don't think it's the right way to vet people technically. It just doesn't make a lot of sense because you can both be bad at leak code and a good dev. You'd also be good at leak code and a bad dev. That said, getting better at leak code definitely helps you some amount as a programmer. And it certainly helped me both write code better and more importantly, be more confident in the way that I write code. That said, I've never been able to just sit down and grind leak code problems. It makes me want to rip my teeth out individually one at a time. I can't do it. It's not for me. At least it wasn't for me. Until a couple of years ago, I discovered a challenge called Advent of Code. Yes, this is another Advent of Code video. I don't care if you're watching this past December though, because I think there's some useful stuff here, at the very least to prep you for the next year. So what is Advent of Code? Why is it so different? And what has me so excited about it? Well, first off, Advent of Code is a set of programming problems that come out in December of every year from the 1st to the 25th. Every day at around midnight EST, a new problem drops that has two parts. Once you've solved part one, you get access to part two. But solving the problem means something a little different than it does in other similar things. Because you don't have to submit your code, you just have to submit a numerical answer. So once you've processed the input, you put in the output and you're done. This means you can do advent of code by hand, you can do advent of code in Excel, there's even people who solve the problems in Minecraft. It's crazy what you can do because Advent of Code isn't telling you to write code in this specific way and submit it. It's giving you a challenging, interesting problem and letting you go figure out how you want to solve it. And this is the aspect that I think makes Advent of Code so different. When you combine that with the two-part nature of the problems, where how well you write part one directly affects how quickly you can solve part two, it actually rewards you for putting a little more thought in instead of just going as fast as possible. And I think that balance makes it very unique as well. But none of this is the secret that makes Advent of Code so special. It's not the reason I push it as hard as I do. That reason is the community. The coolest part of Advent of Code by far is the huge community that's formed around it. Every day, there are literally tens of thousands of people solving these problems and sharing their solutions everywhere from the Advent of Code Reddit to my own Discord. And we have so much fun discussing the different ways we solve these problems. Obviously, in my community, a lot of us are using JavaScript and TypeScript, and we always compare our solutions to see which direction we went in or why someone's code is faster than someone else's. I even wrote some code that was super poorly optimized, saw someone else use bun to make it run, tried the same thing myself, and it actually worked. I was able to get an answer in 10 minutes instead of having to rewrite all my code. Even if you're not using JavaScript, though, it's so cool having a community of other people solving these problems, too. I know low-level learning switches programming languages every day after spinning a wheel with them all on it. Crazy idea. I also know a lot of people who use Advent of Code to learn a new language because they want to learn Elixir, they want to learn OCaml, and they use Advent of Code problems as a way to learn with others going through it every day. But you can also go back to problems from other years and use those to learn at any point. The first Advent of Code I did was the 2015 one, which I did during the summer of 2016 which is crazy, surprisingly fun for me even then. But when I got to do it at the end of the year with thousands of other developers, it was so rewarding. And it's such a cool opportunity, not just to refine your leap code skills, but to see how other people solve these problems. I know a lot of devs that never really had peers. They learned how to code online and they went and worked on projects, but you never got to solve hard problems with other people. This is why I love Advent of Code, because we're all in it together. We're all stuck dealing with these really dumb, weirdly worded, challenging problems, but we all come out better engineers and we all get to work with each other to figure out what is and isn't a good part of the experience and what did and didn't work for you. It's so rewarding and I can't imagine where I'd be right now as a developer if it wasn't for the time I spent every year doing Advent of Code. I actually originally planned for this year to be the first where I took a step back. For the last four, I had an alarm on my phone to go off three minutes before, so I'd go run to my laptop, sit down, and compete. This year, I planned to sit back and take it a little less seriously. But as soon as I saw the hype going, as soon as I sat down and solved one of the problems, I was hooked again. I love Advent of Code, and I owe it for so much of my success as an engineer. I don't even know if I would be a creator if it wasn't for the wonderful sense of community, this silly little game has showed me at such an early point in my career. Huge shout out to Eric and the whole team making Advent of Code possible. You have no idea how big your impact is. And to any developer here who hasn't already given it a shot, I can't recommend it enough. Advent of Code didn't just make Leak Code fun. It made it fun to be part of this community as a whole. If you want to hear a bit about how I did Advent of Code last year, I'll pin that video in the corner. And if you just want to hear something else, YouTube thinks you'll like the video below it. Appreciate y'all a ton as always. I'll see you in the next one. Peace nerds.